I remember the words that she said to me. She was like, oh, you're just a black man trying to police a black woman for the white man. And I was like, whoa, what the, where did that come from? It just feels like my whole life people have been trying to convince me that I'm not a good person because of these attributes. And then to find out that these attributes are really just autism is a wild idea. It's just a wild revelation. This is such a difficult thing to cope with when you're either diagnosed or you self-diagnose yourself as autistic because you start to put pieces together and just realize how much you were fucked over. And this is why I say I hate with a fiery passion like 99.8% of the people I've met in my life. Like, I hate you. Like, I, I hate you. I'm going to say that again. I hate you. Yeah. Y'all be ableist as fuck and y'all be taking advantage of autistic people so much. And you think that we don't know. The thing about us autistic folks, we might not know exactly what is going on, but we can sense the shift in your emotion. We're highly, highly empathic. I get it. I finally get it. It makes a lot of sense to me that Amanda Seals is autistic. She's very opinionated. She stands her ground on her opinion. And she's very unwavering on her beliefs. So if there's something that she feels strongly about, yeah, she, she's not going to back down on that. And that's a very autistic trait that that whole coming across is argumentative. But it's really just being assertive because you've done the work. You've thought out your thoughts and you've put the pieces together. So this makes sense to you. And for somebody to come in and say, no, that's not this. And you're like, no, don't shut that down. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Listen to what I'm saying first. And then if you've got some type of pushback, whatever. But even with that, it's usually not met well because it's, we don't, we have so many thoughts that are going on so quickly and we're trying to get them all out. And it comes across as like a wall of text or like so much information at one time, because if you cut me off, it's probably because I haven't gotten to the part that you're about to dispute or say, well, what about this? And it's, if you just let me keep talking, I'll get there and I will sum up everything that you probably were going to have a conflict with. I personally have my own experience with her with this exact top thing, what I'm speaking on. At a Grammy event in New York, back when she was known as Amanda Diva. And the conversation, it, it just basically, it was two autistic people that were standing in their position firmly. And uh, let me say two autistic people that had not been yet diagnosed as autistic, autistic, standing firmly in their opinion. And I remember the words that she said to me. She was like, oh, you're just a black man trying to police a black woman for the white man. And I was like, whoa, what the, f where did that come from? And that put a bad taste in my mouth. And I remember even trying to reach out to her after I saw her on The Breakfast Club a couple of years, you know, after that or whatever. And she blocked me. <laughs> so yeah, she, she, she holds, she's holding that grudge. And I do not blame her because there's some people that, yeah, you still not gonna get through. But that's my two cents on it. And I just said to my husband a minute ago, I was like, because my mother-in-law actually sent me the, um, sent me her post and my mother-in-law of course she didn't know that we had this like like basically that amanda is one of my least favorite people i don't care for her anything that shows up with her whatever i say not not interested but yeah i i genuinely am happy for her for this discovery because i know what that meant for me and understanding yourself and just being to that breaking point and a lot of stuff what we saw just recently <clears throat> of people just saying, no you're just not a likable person and her trying to find every reason why she's not liked. And it's, I think that that's what it is. It's just that she has her strong beliefs. She has her strong opinions and people can't take that. They can't take when you're not able to bend. And that's the thing with a lot of autistic people. We hold firm to what we believe. And a lot of times it's because it's about, it's about a level of justice of making sure that there's fairness across the board. Like, so that's why you see that a lot of neurodiverse People are probably, you know, speaking on the wars and things and whatnot like that. I personally don't speak on that crap because, you know, like it's it's black people that need our help here. So, you know what? If y'all not talking about the black folks here that need us, then get out of my face with that. Again, I'm only making this video. We're mainly making this video because it's just it's interesting that I'm having this full circle moment and I'm like, aha, that's why. And it reminded me of a video that I just put out. Just because you're both autistic, don't expect to be each other's special interests. Say that just because we're both autistic doesn't mean that we're going to get along. And this is a perfect example of that. Like, yeah, we didn't know at the time, but that doesn't change anything. I still don't like her. And I'm sure she still has me blocked on that other account. And if I reached out to her now, she'd probably block this account too. But I'm not going to. 
Don't forget to hit that button and like and subscribe and do all that other crap. And we'll see you in the next video. Well, not we will. I will see you because it's just me. It's one person. Bye. I'm having a bad, bad day.